Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers with subtraction. Comparing numbers with subtraction. Now before we start this, can you recall the different symbols we use when comparing numbers or sets of numbers? Let's write them down over here. This one means less than, equals, and greater than. Don't forget the symbols. So let's have a look at our first example. Now suppose you have this. Got 49 minus 25. On one side, on the other side you've got 28. Now which symbol goes between these two sets of numbers? Now the first thing we have to do is we have to solve the equation. Solve the subtraction. That's this one over here. Once we do that, we'll then be in a better position to answer the question. So what is 49 minus 25? Now using your mental arithmetic, you should know this. Let's concentrate on the tens. We've got 4 and 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. And because it's tens, it becomes 20. What are we going to add to it? It's 9 minus 5. What is 9 minus 5? 9 minus 5 is 4. So therefore, that becomes 24. Now, you can always double check and say, well, look, does 25 plus 24 equals 49? Well, you try to work it out. It does. So now the equation looks like this. We now have 24 and 28. 24 on the left, 28 on the right. So which symbol do you think goes between them? Don't forget the arrow has to point towards the smaller number. It looks like this. Let's just make sure we get the line correct. So now it reads 49 minus 25 is less than 28. And just to double check, make sure that this is always pointing to the smaller number. And the smaller number is 24. And that's really all there is to it. And let's work through another example. Now let's suppose we have 67 minus 32 on one side. And on the other side we have 75 minus 41. So this time round we've got subtraction on both sides. And we do the same thing as we did with question A. The first thing is to solve the subtraction questions. So what is 67 minus 32? Now again, using your mental arithmetic, we've got 6 tenths minus 3 tenths. 6 minus 3 is 3. So that becomes 30. 60 minus 30 is 30. What about the other side? We've got, we've got 7 minus 2. The units 7 minus 2 is 5. So that becomes 35. So that's the left hand side done. What about the right hand side? So again, using mental arithmetic, we're going to concentrate on the tens first. We've got 7 minus 4. So what is 7 minus 4? 7 minus 4 is 3, and 70 minus 40 is 30. And now the units. We've got 5, and we've got 1. So what is 5 minus 1? 5 minus 1 is 4. So therefore, this side becomes 34. So on the left-hand side, we've got 35. On the right-hand side, we've got 34. So what symbol do you think goes between these two sets of numbers? That's right. It's the arrow pointing to the right. Because 35 is more than 34. And don't forget, the arrow has to point towards the smaller number. So this question now reads, 
67 minus 32 is greater than 75 minus 41. Now it really is as simple as that. So that is how we do how we compare numbers with subtraction questions.